So we're here with Pachalotta, who uh, we're going to talk with about the Kiggins Theater. So who was J.P. Kiggins? Ah, John K Kiggins. Fascinating, fascinating man. He came here with the army, which is usual uh, for mayors in this town. <laughs> it seems like we do have a few of them. We do. It's 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 part of our mystique. You come here, we put what you mayor. And uh, John was, uh, he'd been in the Spanish-American War. Mm -hmm. And while he was in the Philippines, he did a lot of boxing. Hmm. And from the boxing, they taught him, you know, the footwork in boxing. They taught him how to tap dance, and so he also tap danced. Of course he did. And so when was he mayor? What was the time frame? Oh my god, he was on again, off again. <laughs> really, he'd be elected mayor, he'd lose. He'd come back, he'd be elected, he would serve. And then he would go be elected county commissioner. And then he would come back to be mayor again. And he was county commissioner when we built the interstate bridge. You know, the, the governor vetoed the money for the interstate bridge. Mm -hmm. So Clark County and Multnomah County said, hmm, Heck with you, we'll build it ourselves. Hmm. So the committee was the three county commissioners from Clark County and the three from Multnomah County. And John P. Kiggins then was a county commissioner. Uh -huh. And then in 1921, after his term expired, he ran for mayor again <laughs> and was elected in 1921. It also seems and like we may have some similar patterns now with that as well. <laughs> we could. We could do that. We really could do that. But uh, the more things change, the more they are the same. Indeed. So so he was on the committee that, that got the first interstate, interstate bridge built. He yes. was mayor for on and off again a number of years. Oh, yes. In fact, when the, uh, when the stock market crashed in 1929, he was mayor. Hmm. And he ordered... Uh, the police department to move across the street and he said okay we're going to build a new city hall and we're going to build it like an office building in case we have to sell it in a hurry okay so the week after the stock market crash they started building the new city hall at 7th and washington and completed it in a year hmm. and uh, we're in that for a long long time and then eventually sold it to lucky lager okay so at 7th and washington mm -hmm. okay Yes, for a long, long time you would come down Washington Street, in fact, and you could see the Lucky Lugger Brewery, and then over the door it said, Police. But, <laughs> uh, it really wasn't. It was just a brewery. That <laughs> <laughs> could be a, a good way of uh, controlling your, uh, your, your clientele at the that brewery. Could, <laughs> that could be. But it, uh, Kiggins had gone into a building. Mm -hmm. We were a boom community. But he also saw, as many forward-looking people did, was that we have to have good transportation, have a good town. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and that was part of, he, he uh, worked with uh, Sam Hill, bringing the uh, railroad in, even though he wasn't in office at that time. He was still active in the community uh, to get the railroad bridge across, to get the railroad here, to get the interstate bridge. All of these things are very, very important to have in the community. Yeah. It's a, it seems like he's had his his prints on a lot of different things in the community. Oh, yes. From having, you know, his actual name on buildings. Mm -hmm. to yeah, there's one right across the street from the Kiggins Theater. Uh, just diagonally across, mm -hmm. there's one that has Kiggins. Everybody should just look up at our buildings <laughs> sometime. Absolutely. And then we also have the Kiggins House. Yes. They yes, used to be downtown. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what's this? So is that the house that he lived in while he was mayor? Yes. yes okay. Yes. And it used to be on Evergreen, Evergreen right at right. the uh, at uh, West Reserve uh, nearby. Yes. And that was removed to build the new community library. Yes. And uh, that was pretty impressive when they picked up the entire house and moved it across town. It was wonderful. <laughs> I followed it in my car. <laughs> you did. I did. <laughs> Driving around in circles. Fantastic. I was, I was just afraid it was just going to fall. fall. <laughs> <laughs> so just to close out, since we are here in the theater, so you had said that he uh, he had built three uh, movie Before theaters this, downtown. Yes. Uh -huh. And, this was and of course, a, a lot of people remember the castle. And they remember the, uh, what was it, the Mayfair, Mayfair Bottle Cap Club. That went on there. If a kid would bring the bottle caps, so many bottle caps from the Mayfair milk mm -hmm. was delivered to your door. 
they would get into the movies. <laughs> I and feel so, like we're talking about a lot of things that people in the audience like. Many of them have never even heard of the idea of milk being in bottles. That's right, <laughs> and on your doorstep when you woke up. And the thing was, of course, since you, it took so many bottle caps to get into the movies, your bottle caps were not safe. <laughs> <laughs> you had to get out there and get your milk in right away. That's that fantastic. cap is gone. <laughs> Well, Pat, thank you so much for taking some time to tell us about John Kiggins and the namesake for the theater that we're in tonight. That's right. It's such a wonderful town we live in. So many wonderful stories. It is. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome.